Hi guys, Mysterious Cat Island back with more Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we ended up in the sewers of the Oath. Uh, romantic, beautiful hair. Totally a bunch of monsters, and not that light ring, but another light ring. Let's go. Hopefully, we're finally where we need to be. Where are we? In a bar, it looks like. Man, this place is a dump. A tavern in the eastern part of town used by Barbos as a hideout. Uh, yeah, it's real subtle. Basically, it's the place you guys were trying to sneak into. Then Barbos is somewhere around here? Yeah, given that his emblem is on the carpet like over there. Second floor. Let's see what's up there. Actually, I'm going to raid the downstairs first. Again, this part of the game is pretty new to me. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. That's the guy who uh, composed the soundtrack. Yeah, this bar is awful quiet. Like, no music, nothing. I don't like it. Alright, nothing else to see down here. Let's head up these stairs. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. I like how, yes, all the guys in their alt tosk armor are out. Oh, that's a really nice shot. You don't really get this establishing shot. You just get this in the 360 version. I have the slightest idea what you're talking about. All right, Doctor Screw Eyes. The tower and the Blastia, of course. I have yet to receive any reports about them. Oh, wah. Why should I have to report to you about something like that? What? Building that lousy tower fortress of yours without speaking a word of it to your own employer? Uh, sounds like this is a little bit infighting. So Leviathan's claw for help. Ooh, who are they? I'm not your lapdog, Rugo. I just gathered the cores together, like you requested. It's thanks to my efforts that you were able to make that weather controlling Blastia. Yes. Just what made you think it was okay to carry off the extra cores? Well, I mean, you didn't explicitly tell him not to. Our mutual non interference was a condition of our agreement, was it not? What? And did I ever interfere with what you were doing? Barbos, how dare you? Well, did he? You will leave now, Magistrate. Remember this, Barbos. Black-hearted filth like you always get what they deserve in the end. Alright, bitch. You're the one who fed kids to monsters. Like, yeah, Barbos is an asshole. You're a monster. You want to talk, Rago? You guys. It's the World Series of Villains, and you had to take the best seat in the house? I'd say Rago is a bigger villain what than this guy. Fool would dare to heckle my exquisite performance? Well, Yuri. Oh, if it isn't the little runts I met on the ship. You're the one who's been causing all of the recent chaos. Well, he's one of the two. I'm one of it. You fools will never manage to capture me. You sure about that? Oh, yeah? What's your reasoning there? A villain is someone who never considers losing a possibility. And that's why he thinks the way he does. Well... If so, then that makes you quite a villain, Yuri. What? Yep, I'm nefarious. Yuri's not so a villain. Rebelling, huh? You're a real troublemaker, you know that? Dude, why so serious? Big mouth, brat. What's that guy got a claw? What the fuck is with the claws in this gang? You would dare to oppose me? I thought I told you before that next time you wouldn't get off so easy. All the better for us to tear things up. Take them down. Yuri gives zero fucks. Let me do my ballerina twirl. Am I gonna get a fight here or what? The fools have started to march. Shit. Now that meddlesome Don and the knights will destroy each other. You really think it's going to be that easy? He did this to destroy the Union and to eliminate the Dawn. If the Knights are destroyed, who will protect the Empire? I'm sure there's more Knights than just Flynn's little battalion no, right there. Why would you? Oh, of course. He's going to weaken the Imperial Knights so that the Council can step in and control the Empire. Another thing they never explained in the 360 version of this game. Like, you get the gist. To seize Altosk and rule over the Union. Oh 
Oh my. That's one way to put it. Union going down together. It's just as Flynn said. <laughs> so what if you know now? No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop the battle. Oh, you want a fucking bet? Huh, we'll see. And your existence comes to an end here. Are we going to fight? Damn it, he's too late. Is he though? Flynn! Stop! All of you! Sheath your blades! Sheath them! He rides in to save the day. Hi ho, I Silver. Of the Imperial Knights. I have come bearing a letter from Master Yoder. The Imperial oh, fucking Prince. The Empire was false. It was the work of a rebel. Draw back your armies at once. Show sure, right in time, Flynn. I thought you weren't coming back. Thought I was gonna have to kill your friend. And leave Yuri behind to take the fall. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> it hurts me. Flynn, you're an asshole, but I love you. Rego, you fool! You didn't keep up your end of the bargain. Don't hurt me. Oh, you're gonna get fucking hurt. The fuck is that? Yuri, they're aiming at Flynn. Got him. Nice. Nice shot, Carol. Good job, you Captain Carol. Rats, think you can stop me? With my magic. Gun. Get out of here. Head for the exit. Yuri, no, it's too dangerous. No, Yuri's not letting this go. For the air to recharge. I'll try and stop him before then. Uh, apparently it did not take that much time. You're too late. No, it charged up too quickly. That could be dangerous. It's the dragon guy! What the hell? Hello, friend. What I guess. Is that? Said dragon? Oh, so you're back for more dragon free Rita, this recently isn't the time. Rita, knock it off. Our enemy's over there. My enemy is this dragon freak. Honey, I know, but alone for now. <laughs> I'm gonna make you wish you That's a cool sword. And this is the bullshit part. It fucking lifts him up and carries him away. It is one of the more ridiculous things in this game. Get back here, you freak! Think I'm just gonna let you get away? Rita, we have bigger problems right now. If you're going after him, let me come with you. We're a little short on wings around here. Are you crazy? This jerk's our enemy. Is he though? No matter what happens, I've got to catch that guy. Yup. Come on. Just because Flynn's safe now doesn't mean the Don won't renege on his promise. He wouldn't, but. Yes. Wait. Whoops. What about Clicked us? it a little too fast. Sorry. This guy is overloaded enough as it is. The dra I love the dragon. Ugh. Design is so cool. That's a pretty bitchin' spear, too. But what should we? How did you find her go? Where the fuck did he go? I was kind of waiting for the camera to pan and see him, but you I don't see him. The fort here. What? <laughs> Sorry. Damn it, Yuri. <laughs> Carol, Carol, you're twelve. Watch your mouth. Let Flynn know I'm stepping out for a while. Flynn's gonna be pissed, Yuri. He rode this whole time to save your life. Uh, it hurts me. You get this objectively pretty cool shot, though. In a weird, not quite animated, but also kind of animated. Like, definitely CG animation versus the, the 2D we get later on. And in other scenes. But I mean, you do what you gotta do with the game. Oh, a good go and drag it. Fuck it up.
and the storm that we saw earlier, remember? That weird tornado tower thing? That's this thing. Gosforoth. Looks like one of those plasma balls. So that cyclone was his doing. Here comes trouble. Yup. You, you destroyed the blast here. Hey, they did it, not me. They're gonna do some more. Oh no! Hey, are you okay? Ah shit! Bastards! Well, at least you got a spear. Long jump, Yuri. I don't know why he jumps like that. I really have no clue. Your next punk. You, like Yuri's long jump is weird enough, but your weird flight sword is on, bizarre. We're just getting started. Oh no. Ha. My men won't have any trouble taking care of a brat like you. I just killed three of them in one hit. Now and we got a fight. Oh, these guys are no big whoop. Especially considering Yuri takes next to no damage on easy mode. If I can get a destruction field off, we'll be a little better. Carbon copy dudes, come at me, bros. You guys are doing like no, like this would be tough on a normal, normal mode, because they do some damage and whatnot. But the worst they can do is break my guard, honestly. Not bad, bitch. I just killed ten of you fuckers. That was easy. <laughs> and uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and make some sorbet here on top of this tower. Cause why not? Is that all you got? Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you your place. With your crazy chainsaw sword. Uh oh. Huh. That's a handy sword you've got. Think you lost because of this sword, huh? Uh, sir, we need to talk about your Crocs. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, talk it up while you've got the chance. We've got a nice, painful death. All I hate for everything from the waist down on this man. Like no socks, basically wearing loafers, and skinny jeans. I, I don't know. They don't immediately kill me, which is weird, but okay. I'm not going to complain. Just gives Yuri a chance to escape. What's the deal? Please. I've got to get out of here. I don't think anybody's getting out here, old man. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. Yuri's not going to put up with this shit, dude. Oh, it's our dragon friend. Hey. Took one to the face. That's a ruins gate, dude. Err. How that sword broke that helmet, though. Damn it. A woman. And we get one of the <laughs> One of the reveals that really could have been fantastic if they had done the motorcycle helmet removal hair thing. Are you all right? <laughs> Sorry. She pretty. I love. I love her. Well, after all, you did help Baul back there. Baul. Yes, my friend. The dragon, Yuri. The dragon. Oh. He's kind of whale-like.
If you couldn't tell by her color scheme, we have a new friend! What are you going around destroying Blastia for? Who dresses on the scanty side when she's not wearing her full armor. That sounds like a long story. Not a big deal if you don't feel like talking about it. I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. That's okay, girl. I'm destroying them because I want to. You're right. I'm not all that impressed. Good job, Yuri. So that's why you mashed up Barbos's Blastia too. Yes, but I didn't finish the job. And can you just let this one go? It's tiny and very sentimental. There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. You don't I don't think they tell you in this game in the game why it's sentimental to Yuri. Like you find out in first strike. What are you plotting, Yuri? Why don't we work together a little longer? I love Judy. Hmm. It's true. I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. Even if her design is kind of intended to be cheesecakey, I'll give the design this though. Almost all of the other crits you dress like that too. It seems to be a cultural norm with them. Okay then. They're very laid back, easygoing people. So what do we do? Ain't a. Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. Well, if you think it might work, do tell. Arm and drying it out. I always say those who can should. Okay, just go along with me on this. What sort of mischief are you two plotting? Your lead. She gets it. Don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. Ah! She knocked you over. She knocked you across the room, Yuri. That is it. So you don't fuck around. Uh, they're kicking the shit out of each other. Maybe you should open the door. To teach you a lesson, huh? Are you? Ugh, I love Yuri's found family. Ta-da! You're free. And so are you! Thanks for your help. I think I still owe you one more. Huh? Ugh! Guess I uh, overdid it back there. Yuri likes to fight, so. There, that makes us even. I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. She knows how to high five, kind of. Judith. No last name given. Uh, Judy's easier to say. More shortening of names. By me. All right. On to the next objective. Next? Well, we could check out the Blasty on the roof. All we have to do is go up. Won't your friends be waiting for you? Oh, they'll be fine. I don't mind taking care of the Blastia first. Also, I'm going to get an earful from Flynn, I'll so... How exactly do we go up? Oh, I know how, Yuri. This is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. A princess? Never mind. Yes, Yuri There's knows princesses. Somewhere. Let's see what we can find. They're like little sisters, obviously. Judith to join the party. And now Whoop. Can I really not access the menu? Hey, why were you wearing that stuffy-looking suit of armor? Oh, you didn't like it? It's pretty sturdy and protects my body quite nicely. See? Look at this beautiful skin, free of bruises and blemishes. Very nice. I'm actually worried where my eyes might wander. You don't look all that worried to me. I've just got a good poker face. So you're okay? You don't mind leaving your armor behind? It's sturdy, but it's heavy. Walking around with that on tires me out. Well, hey, no complaints here. I prefer eye candy to scary armor any day. Sure you do, Yuri. So if we go back in here, I think there's a shop now. Oh, there's a save point. Haha. <laughs> there's supposed to be somebody selling stuff around here. We are going to go ahead and save. Because I feel like it. <laughs> it's 
been 20 minutes since the last save. I'm saving. Okay. So, you can't... Well... Oh, there's chests back there. There are monsters sort of all over the place here, so you gotta watch out. They're gonna jump at you just like anywhere else. Yeah, go ahead and pick it up. It's fine. And a melange gel. You can't go around the back. There's kind of a wall or something there. It's kind of cool looking though, isn't it? Oh, hey, what's that thing? We're gonna check it out in a minute. There are chests inside rooms here. Okay, this is my weapon. The Yuri got his weapons back. Can't find yours? Someone might have just took it. It was a nice spear. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Was that something special for you? Yes, it was. It was a cool spear. Well, this should do for a while. I'll take this. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it too. Thank you. We'll find it way later. Don't look too hard, you're not gonna fucking find it here. Uh, it's actually part of the sub-events that we've started way earlier in the game. I'm not even fucking joking. The sub-event to find her fucking spear. Uh, like we can't go any higher, and we can't go outside either. Your ring's doing a glowy thing. Is the sorcerer's ring broken? Did the air here do this? Hey, you're more fashion conscious than I thought. This isn't fashion. You go like this, and... Burnt. It moved. It's powered up. I'll bet you could move other levers with that, too. Yes, yes we can. That's the whole point behind this dungeon. I think it's okay. I'm afraid it might blow up or something. Oh, you don't use that hand for fighting it much happens, anyway. It happens. For now, let's pull that lever over there. If something this tiny exploded, I guess it wouldn't be too dangerous. Only well, take off your hand. Yay, we got the swing level two. Uh, I know that in the Was that 360 really version of the game. From someone? Hmm, I guess you could call it a present. Well, well, looks like you're quite the ladies' man. No, 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 I'm just a big sucker. Oh? It's amazing enough the ring holds power, but it even reacts to air and becomes stronger. You must have a very strong bond with the girl who gave that to you. And that's one bond I wouldn't mind breaking. She constantly threatens to blow us up, Judy. If you only knew. I think we can go ahead and hit this one. No, we gotta hit him in order. That's right. It's been a while since I've done this dungeon. And this guy's the shop now! Hooray! Let's see. Whoop. Not gonna buy pineapple gel. We'll be okay without it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. You, you do have food. Neat. I'm out of ingredients for something, and I can't remember what it is. It's obviously not shit you have, so we'll just stock up on what we can. Uh, oh, shit, you do do synthesis. Nice. Let's see. I don't think we can synthesize anything super special here. Because we haven't seen what's his face to tell us about better things. I do want to see if Judy has a, a weapon up, though. Nope. Ooh, I can get the spike collar. Yeah, let's go ahead and synthesize one of those. These things are great, too. Uh, especially the knuckle duster. It's good for Yuri. We need more strong vines, though. Oh, nope. Judy can't wear none of this. Nope. Damn it. Okay. She wears, like, cloaks is her... I'm sorry, jackets are her thing. No, coats. Coats are her thing. It's a little better than what you got, so let's do it. Probably need some poison wards. Do I have another? Uh, let's get an attack ring, because that'll be good for her, since she is 
A beater. Uh, we need one of these for later. Oh, cool, I can make the goggles now. Nice. The moon selector's handy too, but it's, uh, it's something we're gonna bother with right now. What? I'll make the blue goggles later, it's fine. We don't need them. They're not that important. Okay. So start with this one. And let's go up. What's up, You're Judy? Pretty strong. Can you use an over limit by any chance? I can. Sure, yeah. Okay, then try this. She gives us Huh? What's this? The limit duo. Our over limit level two, you basically. To use even more powerful over limits. I don't remember what the level oh, two yeah? does. They go up to level eight in this version of the game. If your battle spirit is the real thing, that is. Oh, it is, girl. So what else can you tell me about these strong over limits? You can produce more power when attacking alone. Is that so? I still don't quite get it. We'll figure it out, Yuri. Don't worry about it. I very rarely use the limit, the uh, level two limit. The level four is really where the good shit starts. Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get moving then. Yay! And it's like applied automatically, so. A fight and a chest back there. Don't hurt us now. Oh, I can unlock Judy's costumes now. Hooray! We'll do that before I end the video. Do do do. Ah. Get at. Judy will use all of her MP. Fucking trains. Her all of her MP if you are not careful. This power will make me stronger. I love Judy. And not just because she got the titty. Although they do make some jokes about that. Ooh, a battle suit. Nice. I think I already have one of those. Oh no, I had the breastplate. Ooh, the battle suit is better. And one of these weird Guess we can do this. Horse centaur things. Well. The flying horse birds. Alright, bitch, with the laser. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna attack the golem. And let Judy handle the aerial shit, because she's good at it. She jumps around like a fucking trapeze artist. There we go. I was just getting warmed up. There she goes, her using all her MP, all her TP again. Okay. This level we can go all the way around. There's not stuff in most of the bins here, so don't have to worry about any of that. Don't hurt us now. Not a lot of easily missable stuff. Nope. We're gonna attack the bandito and let Judy handle the bird. Okay. Nice. He felt nothing. Sorry for being so strong. I'm not sorry, Judy. You're awesome. Judy is the best. Got a crescent axe, that'll be for Carol. That one doesn't do anything. We can exit here. I, I think we have to, actually. Bark. Oh well, he got mad. <laughs> here we go. Oh my god, sir, the way you hold that sword did not seem like the most effective manner of holding a two-handed sword. I could be wrong. I need to go easy on the arts, too. Like, I've got plenty of gels, but I definitely don't want to waste all of them. Nope. It's not power if you don't get to fucking cast your spells. All right. I was just getting warmed up. Okay. Well, this is as good a place as any to go ahead and stop, but let's go ahead and unlock... Whoops. 
Judy's costumes if I can remember where I need to fucking go. Yes. Yes. She's only got four bonus costumes right now. She gets plenty of outfits, so don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, some of these are pretty, uh, pretty sexy. Sexy school nurse. Oh, I love her hair like that. Show me the costume. Uh, it's, oh, God, what the hell is his name from, um, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. Richter? Richter, yeah. Cosmos from Xenosaga. My favorite costume we won't get for a while. This one's cute. I think this is supposed to be her Valkyrie costume. Uh, it is uh, rather scanty like most of her others, but I do like it. We're just going to stick with the Great Lancer for now. Like everybody else. But, okay. We've seen Aunt Judy's extra costumes. We're here in Gasparos. We're gonna go find Barbos and kick the shit out of him. We'll pick it up next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!